Some of you guys may remember we did a video on the tailgate tire uh, table back on the Forerunner several years ago. Well, we decided we want to do a refresh on that video for those who hadn't seen it and show how it works in the Bronco. Show you guys in here in a controlled environment outside where there's no noise, where there's noises and cars and stuff like that. So, anyway, this thing comes in the case. And you've seen the Forerunner video, you've seen all this, so this is nothing new. We're just going to do a real quick demonstration on how to put this up uh, just so that way we're not interrupted we're in here the only interruption you might have in here is an occasional dog uh, and if that's the case i just want to apologize in advance i think we'll be all right now this thing here when it comes in this loop will be over this way you basically have to just pull these out and turn them i had to do this on the 34 inch tires and the forerunner and i definitely had to do this on the 38 inches on the bronco i think you have to do that if they're over a 33 it's not hard to do. You just go back here and do this, uh, and do this uh, turn, and this turn, and then these bars slide right out. And then you can pull them all the way out. Now we'll pull them out a little bit here, just a minute. You know, and I'll go ahead and tighten them up just so they're not slinging everywhere. But uh, you can pull these all the way out, and you can switch this. So just know that. Now for our preparation here. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but you take these little things right here. You just push down in there, pull it out, and then you're going to put them in up here. And you'll do the other one down here at the bottom too. And I'm taking my time showing you this. If I wasn't having to talk to you and show you this, I could do this like in no time at all. And then I hit it on the other side. And you'll see here, these have little rough edges here. This is to keep from slipping. This goes up against your tire on one side. And this loop, you'll see another little rough, uh, rough patch here. goes on the back side of the tire. We're hasting away. So what it is, we're going to use a chair armrest to kind of demonstrate this. Is you'd want to put this in, kind of bring it out a little bit, turn these knobs to get it loose. And then you'll want to basically pretend this arm is a tire. You want to sandwich the tire between this bar and these two bars. And then you'll go in and tighten these up. I might not get too crazy here, like I said, because since we're inside. And then I got two uh, animals watching me. Now on the bottom here, there's a little bitty, and I'm going to pull this off to show this to you guys. There's this little pole that sticks out. You have to click this little button here, which brings this out. And keep in mind, you also have a little knob here that loosens this up. And the reason this is here is so you can extend it. So let's switch it back over real quick. And this is going to fall out because I don't have it secure since we're doing this in a different way since I'm just using illustration purposes. So if you want to, you can uh, put this straight out and just leave the leg like that. Or, as we show you here in some of our pictures, you can angle it up against the tire. I don't know if it'll do this on the couch, so I don't want to get too rough with my couch here. To where it's on the tire. So like I said, pretend like that couch arm is a tire. And this is good. Now obviously I don't put a lot of weight on it because I don't know how much my couch can hold. But, just kind of want to show this to you guys real quick. Real quick and easy demonstration. A little undershot here just so you can see everything. So I said, sits up pretty good. Miley approves, don't you, Miley girl? All right, well, these things usually come in black. Mine didn't. I bought this several years ago, and I think that may be the choice now they all come in black. But anyway, these are all aluminum, so they're rust and corrosion resistant. Uh, we are going to be getting rid of this one. We got it for sale on Facebook Marketplace just because we simply don't use it that much. Uh, I think that if you find a need for it, it's a definitely a good buy. It's not very expensive, and it serves a good purpose. We just never did use it that much. But anyway, hope you guys consider this video, uh, liking this video, and hitting that subscribe button. Please hit that alert button for future videos to come. Thank you so much.